Gate tonight's Wes Poppin' and Sedonis. We are back with the daily Yu Yu Hakusho reactions, man. First and foremost, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. This shit has been such an awesome series to watch so far. We're only 10 episodes in and I'm digging the story like crazy. I'm loving the characters for sure. Obviously the voice acting is one of those things because of the voice actors are a lot of them are the same for Dragon Ball in the same era. There's that nostalgic vibe that I get, even though I have never seen this anime like that. You know what I'm saying? I've seen, you know, episodes here and there, but I don't know the story of Yu Yu Hakusho. So seeing it and then like obviously the last episode we had them go to this temple to, you know, learn this specific technique or whatever from this one lady. And this lady comes out, short lady, and it's Frieza's voice actor, like the ocean dub Frieza which is my favorite Frieza voice actor, just to be completely, you know, honest with you. The new Frieza voice actor is dope, but the Ocean Dub original woman that voices Frieza, I was like, yo, that's the voice. And this old lady is the same voice. Ironically, it's also short, like first form Frieza. Kind of funny, but it doesn't really matter. Really dope. But you, we, they went through this test in the forest. Yu Yu made it late. But then was like, yo, I came straight to the forest, blah, blah. She's like, you didn't run into like this bat dude. Like, he's like, yeah, 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 I bodied him. She's like, hold on, play what? <laughs> You're not supposed to be bodying him, son. So I thought that was really dope. Uh, so yeah, here we are, man. So make sure you guys smack the like button if you guys are ready for this. Hit the subscribe if this is your first time here. Hit the bell and also big things coming, all right? Again, huge shouts out to the patrons over here of the Absolute Geek Tier. Appreciate you guys. But right now I'm in talks. We're in combo right now. For the, for the next podcast I'm recording with Tyrone Magnus. If you don't know who Tyrone Magnus is, he is the OG. He is the great one when it comes to reactions, in my opinion. He's kind of one that popularized the whole genre, really. So uh, we're just trying to work out times and stuff this week. We can work that out, then we will be on there. So if you guys, you know, want to see that, man, make sure you guys hit the bell, hit the subscribe, you guys know what to do. But other than that, man, stop ghost watching. Hit the damn like button. Let's get this thing popping, bro. Are you ready? I'm ready. Genkai. It's like a Zenkai. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm making a bet right now. I'm making a bet. Let's make the bet. Let's make the bet. Alright, so. If I were to guess who the demon's gonna be. I'm guessing it's the most unexpected looking motherfucker. It's probably the bald head dude on the bottom right. I'm going ball head on the bottom right is going to be the demon. That's my guess. I could be wrong though. From here on, you can forget about sympathy. Ooh, you can forget the about sympathy. Oh. You until one is oh. You will fight until your, your opponent is dead or incapacitated. She don't care who, how you go, bro. Come Oh. Okay. So very similar to Chi to Ki, where motherfuckers obviously Goku and him had to learn how to fight in the dark or fight, you know, without being able to see their opponent. The much, much worse punk of Seriosky Junior High. Hmm. Use K, you're a meshy. The much, much worse. Now everyone pick up the arrow you think is pretty. That'll decide the order. First of all, bro, I'm just trying to figure out how is Yusuke going to fight a dude that is a master in multiple martial arts, bro? I'm trying to figure that out right now, bro. And he's fighting him from jump, bro. What did I say, bro? And he's fighting him from jump. How are you going to fight this dude? That's literally Frieza talking to Captain Ginyu right now, cuz that shit is so funny. Yes, 
not exactly a spectator sport. <laughs> oh, okay. He's got the spirit gun. No, it's too powerful to be like mine. You? Oh, you run outside, Blit? I'm impressed, Photon. You didn't say bingo. Well, that's <laughs> Yeah. He like, what's up, girl? What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so she knows what's up. Two marks. Sure, he lacks fighting experience, but he still had a decent advantage in two out of three categories. On to the third match. See? Musashi. Musashi. You Which means you're about to take a L. <laughs> no way. Dang. Commercial break. You already know how that go. So what's happening right now is the West's his name is underestimating him, right? So he's toying with him. Right? We already know if he really wanted to max him, you could have maxed him immediately and been done, right? So he's basically showing like, look, this is the difference in our power, but it's gonna give Cool Bar the uh, the time to figure something out to then catch him off guard because the dude's just gonna be underestimating him the whole time. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, chill. Give him the wood stick beating. I'm gonna beat you with this stick, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> oh. Huh? My stick. Evil creature? <laughs> oh, well. Damn, bro, your booty scraped the flow, bro. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, you got bodied, bro. Kuwabara. Bro, he beat a kendo master. Oh, no, I was just praying for your mortal soul. You can stop clowning around. Fine, good guess. Hmm. It only weirdos like Cool Park is in the dark. Damn. Gave it that haymaker. See, it's very useful. Damn. I want to know where the hell he had that. Did he have a, Does he have a pocket that he carries that big ass helmet in? Where was it at? A real kick. Day. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's a. That's a. He knows all the martial arts. <laughs> Didn't he say that he's a master of all martial arts? 
Not by standing like that. That dude looked like his whole legs is fucked up. Oh, chill, bro. You got clothes on? What was that? Want to know what martial arts that was. That's why I was trying to figure it out. Oh, chill. When he can't even see. I don't know, blood. He about to get bodied, bro. I mean, he just got hit with a fucking bicep. You get bicep hit. That's not the way, bro. You don't seem to have a chance, Yusuke. But that's not the point. Just get up and attack him. It's your job. No, it's your job. Get up and attack that boy. It's your job, homie. You gonna get fired, son. <laughs> Do it! Not the bonsai missile. <laughs> Chopping, throwing, whirlwind attack. Bro, you hit the bro, you you hit the top of your head, bro. Shot in the head. Sniper! You tricked me. You tricked me. <laughs> Yo, people be losing, bro, when they get caught up. You know, they be sounding so stupid, bro. You tricked me. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you I'm in the forest, bro? This is the Amazon. <laughs> Hold on, wasn't before your Meshi's blue thing way shorter? I could have sworn it was. Maybe I'm bugging, but I thought it was smaller. Daddy? See? Told you, it's your daddy. Oh. Damn, he get bodied already, bruh. <laughs> well, that was it. You got shit on your back. Your shit on your back got some shit on his back. Bruh. They're coming back. Hello, I was expecting a more shocked reaction. Target. First of all, you just did this, bruh. <laughs> this dude dodging like Spider-Man, bruh. Oh. 
with the explosion. Facts. I thought he I thought there was only two left. What? He threw more? This is easy. He just gonna dodge and them shits is gonna wipe it out. He gonna attack him afterwards, bro. That's what I would do. What was that? <laughs> Did he fall into a hole or some shit? He fell into a hole. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me the whole thing was an accident? Winner, Yusuke Yuramashi. Which means that Rondo. Is that his name? Rondo? Whatever his name is? Like I said, bruh, that ball head nigga. what I say? Bruh. What did I say, bro? I was like, this nigga look too. Too normal. <sighs> I don't know, bruh. All I know is that shit was super predictable. It doesn't mean that it's bad. I just knew, I was like, oh shit, that's gotta be him, bro. You, everybody else looks super menacing. He was like, kind of like, hey man. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you gotta be a problem, bruh. It's probably your ass, bro, for sure. But, cool little scenarios, obviously the fighting is gonna get better. I obviously know that this is early on in the series. Fucking, you know what I'm saying, that fucking face punch shit. <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit funny. Um, but cool, you know what I'm saying? It's a basic tournament arc, nothing super crazy. There's nothing super saucy yet, obviously. None of these things are really dope. It's just kind of like basic. It's like them learning about their powers, learning about what people can do. You know what I'm saying? It's like training, basic training is what it seems like. Okay, we're gonna go in the dark. You're gonna learn how to fight in the dark. Found out that, you know, Kuwabara has the ability to actually see spiritual energy. So he's like, oh yeah, I can see these motherfuckers. And obviously everybody else that has more experience can have, they have better skills uh, with that ability. And obviously the man he just fought has more control over using using that spiritual energy as a weapon, a projectile weapon, or imbuing other weapons with that said energy. Really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I'm digging this as far as the, you know, them kind of showcasing what the, 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 the power system actually is. Now, obviously it really comes down to how is, uh, how is Yusuke going to evolve? We know that in desperation, he gets stronger. Very similar to a Saiyan. You know what I'm saying? As he fights, he gets stronger. But in this situation, it's more so of like when shit really gets crazy where he feels like, oh shit, I can't, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, that his power starts to increase. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I did remember when he fought the one dude initially, his blue bar, when they were showing like the little stats, his blue bar was really short. And then on the second fight, it showed that his blue bar was much higher. So I'm not sure if that was something I just missed saw or it maybe was a show in his physical like in his actual growth I'm not really 100% sure what that is but um, very curious to see where this goes man let me know you guys thoughts on these two episodes also do not forget podcast right now with Mari is up and this week we're going to be doing a podcast with Tyrone Magnus just trying to figure out schedule right now so stay tuned for that if you guys want to miss those podcasts man click the link uh, not click the link hit the subscribe and the bell so you guys don't miss Make sure the notifications are on. A lot of you guys that watch, don't even, you're like, do I even see the notifications? Make sure your bell is rung and select all so you guys don't miss the content. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you. Till then, stay geeked.